in the never-ending quest for different ways to do the same old thing, have a uh, kinetics reaction here that um, I'd like to show you. It, um, I'm not going to go through a lot of development beyond showing you the reaction and how it works. I've got three reactants that I've listed on the board. If you're going to have students do this, I'm going to do one trial. Your students are going to do maybe three trials at one temperature, three at another temperature, three at a third temperature. They might be varying uh, concentrations. Whatever it is, the important thing is you have to keep things straight. So I found that they can handle this much. I've labeled my um, graduated cylinders A, B, and C so that they don't mix the reagents ahead of time, something like that. I look at this, I say, how are they going to know which is which? A could be acetone. One of the reagents is cinnamaldehyde. That works for the C. And as we all know, potassium hydroxide is a base. So A, B, C. Get these rings on here. What do your students do with the rings? Use them to gauge what the level is? Or do they just take them off? I've never been able to convince students that if they put them up here, they really serve a function. But anyway, I digress. What I'm going to do is mix quantities, and all of this is in the PDF, but I'm going to mix 5 milliliters of a 20% cinnamaldehyde solution. Cinnamaldehyde is the principal oil in cinnamon. With 3 milliliters of 2 molar potassium hydroxide, that's my base, with 2 milliliters of acetone. What's going to happen is a reaction is going to take place in the presence of hydroxide between the cinnamaldehyde and the acetone. Take a beaker. Cinnamaldehyde, C. I want five milliliters of this. I'm going to use thin stem pipettes. There's C. Potassium hydroxide, three milliliters. I don't know if you noticed, I had the pipette just as full as it would get with a good squeeze. That turns out to be about three milliliters. That's not precise enough for the experiment, but it will give you an idea of what you need. If you are going to use this experiment and you've got three or four sections, be aware that you're going to have a pretty significant cinnamaldehyde odor in your laboratory. It's fine for the kids. They're there for three quarters of an hour. You're there all day. And I need two milliliters of acetone. Reagents get combined in reverse alphabetical order. C, then B, and I just want to mix these. 
Notice it got cloudy at first. That's a solvent effect. The timing starts when I put in the acetone. That's actually the other reactant. Okay, so if I were timing this, I would time now. Most kin uh, kinetics clock reactions, you look for a color change. This one takes a little longer, but it's a little different. Very subject, you've got two volatile liquids here, so particularly with the cinnamaldehyde, which is in alcohol, I'm kind of trying to watch this and look up at the same time. Uh, a particular batch will be con internally consistent, but from you make one batch today and one tomorrow, they may give you very different times. Typical time is about 45 seconds to a minute at this temperature. From the cramping that's going on in my wrist, oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That's the reaction you time. Now the question becomes, what do you do with it? It's organic, and it's going to curdle up. It's going to look a lot like last week's cream corn by the time it sets up. But you want a disposal device, you certainly can't pour it down the sink. It's too liquid to do anything else with at this point. So being ever the frugal Scott, I. Uh, Took a soda bottle, cut the top off, turned it around. In my classroom, I would use maybe larger tape than this. But there's my disposal. This will do at least three sections of a class that's doing maybe three different temperature runs. Eventually, this stuff will set up. Then you can treat it as non-hazardous, solid, organic waste. Or if you don't want to use the bottle for this, it's a pretty good crayfish trap. A little bit different type of kinetics reaction, a little bit different product. A really interesting collection device.